Hi everyone, we're going to look at exponential functions and fi figuring out the growth or decay factor for the relationship. So what we're going to look for here is what are we multiplying by every time as we go from the one x to the next x to the next x, what is the constant amount we're multiplying by every single time, and that'll be the growth or decay factor. So again, the first one here, as x goes up by 1, we're going to look to see what happens here with the y's. So 128 times something is 64, and then 64 times that same thing is 32, and then 32 times that same thing is 16, and that number is going to be the growth or the decay factor. In this case, we're getting smaller from bigger numbers to smaller numbers, so it's definitely going to be decay. That's how we know because it's decreasing. So to figure this out, we're going to just use division to go backwards here and figure out the constant amount we're multiplying by. So to do that, we're just going to take 64 and we're going to divide it by 128, and that will give us the amount that you'd be multiplying by every single time. And that's just 0.5 or 1 half. And this will happen no matter which two points you use for this. If I do 32 divided by 64, I'm going to get the same thing, 0.5. So our decay factor is 1 half for this problem. For the next one, we've got growth because the numbers are getting bigger every time. 1.6 becomes 4, becomes 10, becomes 2.5 etc etc so every time we're multiplying by some number some growth factor since it is getting bigger it is increasing to again figure out the growth factor we just figure out what we're multiplying here to go from 1.6 to 4 or 4 to 10 10 to 25 etc so just use division to undo that so 4 divided by 1.6 would give you that growth factor or we could do 10 divided by 4 would be a little bit easier to do in your head, that would be 2.5. So they're all going to be 2.5. If it is an exponential function, it has to be times the same amount every single time. So our growth factor this time would be 2.5. Since every time you increase by 1 in x, you're multiplying by 2.5 to the y values.